Hey everybody! So today I'm here with a very highly requested hair growth video. Those of you that have been following me for a while have noticed um, my hair transformation. You've noticed how much longer it's gotten and how much thicker it's gotten. And so I just wanted to come and tell you guys what I've been doing to grow out my hair. I just want to say up front that some people, it seems like no matter what they do, they can style their hair every day, they can dye it, they can straighten it, do anything to it, and regardless of what they do, it just seems like their hair grows thick and long no matter what. And I just want to tell you guys, I am not one of those people. I've never been <laughs> that person. I've always kind of struggled with my hair. It's always been pretty short. It's never seemed to want to go grow past a certain length until very recently when I started doing a few things differently and this is actually the longest my hair has ever been in my entire life so for those of you that have been struggling with growing your hair there definitely is hope because I never thought that my hair was gonna grow this long and I just feel like it will continue to grow even longer with the path that I'm on. So um, I've pretty much just been doing four main things that I feel like have helped my hair to turn around and get on the right track and to grow longer and thicker. So yeah, it's nothing crazy at all. It's something that everyone can do. So let's get into the tips. Okay, so the first thing is I avoid heat like the plague i kid you not obviously my hair today is straightened just because i wanted to show you guys the length but i very 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 rarely use heat on my natural hair before today i think the last time i used any heat on my hair was maybe six or seven months ago and really I only use heat when I straighten my hair which is about two to three times a year it just depends on how I feel but I don't use heat very much at all using things like flat irons curlers blow dryers frequently can dry out your hair it can damage your hair and it really can stunt your growth and if you're struggling to grow out your hair you definitely want to try to avoid or severely limit the amount of heat that you're putting on your hair. I did a video recently on my wash day routine and I showed you guys how I achieve a blown out look without using heat. So that has helped me tremendously. Just try to come up with ways to style your hair, just figure out different styles that you can do. I have a bunch of tutorials on styles that do not require the use of any heat whatsoever, especially on my um, natural hair playlist there's a bunch of styles on there if you guys have not seen those definitely check them out I personally used to use heat like flat irons once or twice a week and now I use heat only two to three times a year it has helped me to retain my length a lot better just the limiting of heat goes a long way towards healthy hair another thing I do is daily scalp massages Massages to the scalp, they really help promote blood flow and they get those nutrients to your hair follicles and they really do help to increase your growth and just get your hair to grow a lot faster. I actually started this not necessarily for hair growth, I just like getting massages, but I noticed that it really helped to stimulate my hair growth so I just kept it up. So that's something I definitely recommend if you are trying to boost your hair growth do a scalp massage every single day. Sometimes I'll even do it two and three times a day if I'm just sitting somewhere and not doing anything. I'll just gently start massaging my scalp. I don't use any oil or anything when I do it. Just my fingertips is all I do. If you want to, you can, but I don't. But yeah, I do daily scalp massages and I think that has definitely helped my hair growth as well. The third thing I do a lot is protective styling. When you're not manipulating your hair so much, it lessens the chances of breakage, it lessens the chances of damage. Styles where you can set it and forget it pretty much, those are the styles you want to do. So things like braids, twists, buns, updos, Anything where you don't have to constantly manipulate your hair and styles where your ends are protected, where they're not exposed to, you know, rub it against your clothes or um, the elements. Those are the type of things that are going to help you to retain your length. And sometimes when people 
um, aren't seeing growth it's not that your hair isn't growing it's just that your hair might be breaking off faster than it's growing so you're not seeing any type of growth so protective styling can definitely help with that I do braids a lot of the time cornrows I do buns a lot of the time I do updos I very rarely wear my real hair out like this it has helped to curb breakage and it just has helped my hair to really thicken up my hair has never been this thick I have been shocked and amazed myself you guys have noticed just how thick it's gotten which is crazy to me because my hair has always been pretty thin and then the fourth thing is to feed your body from the inside out eat a lot more fruits vegetables whole grains nuts um, drink a lot more water just try to lessen the amount of processed foods and junk food and stuff like that that you're putting into your body. And again, like I said, some people can eat a lot of junk food. Some people can eat a really poor diet and it doesn't matter. Their hair will grow like a weed. But some people, you need that extra boost. When you put good stuff in, you get good stuff out. And it just... A healthy diet helps your body to run a lot more efficiently which can help your hair growth and your overall health so definitely look into making some diet changes if you don't have a really good balanced diet right now and I feel like when I made that change when I started eating more whole foods when I started eating more fruits and vegetables and drinking a lot more water i have just been seeing the results in so many different ways in my hair and my skin and my nails my nails grow like crazy my hair is growing and just overall you want to be healthy anyway right so just making those diet changes being more aware of what you're putting into your body can help you a lot as well so those are the four things i've been doing guys i promise you that is it those are the only changes i've done and as you can see the proof is in the pudding with how my hair has completely taken off i have not done anything drastic these are just things that everybody can do some people have asked if i take vitamins like hair growth aids or anything like that i take absolutely no vitamins at all i don't take anything to aid in the growth of my hair other than the foods that i eat so no i don't take anything like that no vitamins whatsoever and then i just want to add two other points that are kind of like and aside from the four tips I gave, if you suffer from dry, brittle hair, you definitely want to keep your hair moisturized. Find a moisturizer that makes your hair feel really nice and hydrated and moisturize your hair either every day or every other day and braid it up, twist it up, do whatever you have to do, but keep your hair moisturized and that will help to lessen breakage. I don't personally, moisturize my hair a lot i only moisturize when i style my hair which is every week to every two weeks so it's not something i personally follow but if you suffer from really dry brittle hair keep your hair moisturized that can definitely help you and then another thing is if you have damaged ends if you have split ends go ahead and get them trimmed you don't want to be hanging on to raggedy split ends on your hair because number one it's just it doesn't look good and then number two that damage from your ends can travel up and continue to damage even more of your hair so you want to nip it in the bud if you have split ends trim them off practice healthy hair habits and you know grow your hair back out but don't hang on to split ends it will do you absolutely no good just fyi i will be doing a video on my staple products that i use on my natural hair i'll be doing a video on that very soon but i do want to stress that it's really not so much about the products it's just about implementing healthy hair practices and doing things that will nurture your hair if any of you have questions leave them down below i'll get to as many of you guys as i can um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helps you guys out thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye